Welcome back, graduates. My name is Ellie, and today we're going to go over how to add color swatches to Horizon theme. Now, the reason why I want to create this tutorial is because I have been literally searching, scouring the web, uh, the web for how to add color swatches and how to configure them for Horizon theme. I know Horizon theme just recently came out, but it should be simple. It should be super simple, but the thing is, it's not. I spent over 45 minutes just myself uh, going over uh, how to configure and enable the color swatches uh, that are displayed right here on the demo. Um, the fact that there is no clear indication of where to find documentation is also uh, scary because I have been working with Shopify and on Shopify themes for about eight years now. And to me, this is already so uh, confusing and I just got done tackling this watch. So today I am going to show you easy, easy, one, two, three, uh, how to set up the uh, color swatches and also how to configure if you would like the variants. Now it is a different process. It is a different step because of the fact that uh, <clears throat> Shopify's previous theme, uh, Dawn, did not have color swatches at all. You had to uh, hire a third-party developer or um, integrate an app uh, to allow for color swatches. But this way, uh, it's already native to the theme for Horizon. However, there are a couple of steps uh, to configure this. And today, we're going to show you how. Uh, so <clears throat> going into the demo right over here, there's a couple of things uh, that are different. You don't have to handle this through meta objects. Uh, you don't really have to handle this really anywhere else, but it is a bit tricky and the settings are a bit uh, tricky and uh, to find. So we're going to go into products, for example, and uh, I'm going to click on view your store. So it looks like I'm going to show you what it looks like without it. And I'm going to show you show you what it looks like once I have successfully configured it. So I'm on here. I'm in the theme editor right now and notice that there are no swatches uh, uh, displayed at the moment. And if you see this marquee, this is because I've added a uh, really cool theme block uh, feature right here that I've created myself. Anyways, <clears throat> so we're going to go and we're going to work on the complete package. And so you don't see any swatches right here. And we're going to go into the, the product complete package. And down here, most of this will look uh, familiar, title, description, media, and scrolling down here, then we have the variants and we have um, <clears throat> the individual variants that you can uh, see right here. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna start this from absolute ground zero, and we're gonna click save, save product. And one of the biggest things we're gonna need to do is uh, we're gonna have to set set the category, uh, set whatever the product is. Now, if you don't have, you know, a set category, you can do other, but this is apparently really important, a, a really important and crucial step in order to uh, create the color swatches for Horizon theme and moving forward. So <clears throat> going into products, let's actually go to the low pro uh, that doesn't have anything right now. So we have, I'm sorry, we're going to go to the elite trio package since that already had the swatches set up so we have seat color we have light color um now we don't have anything else really here so what it's going to force us to do once we're on here is we're going to choose a category and right now we're going to just choose apparel and accessories try to get as close as you can but it doesn't have to be exactly. Uh, they also give you, you know, suggestions as well here. Um, but okay, so I chose apparel and accessories. Once I chose that, notice going down on the product on the product here, a bit further further down, you see category meta fields. You see apparel and accessories, what I just categorized as. Now you'll see color, category meta fields, color. And if I have black, brown, black, red, blue, as you know, my options, my variants here, I can choose what other, uh, what other color swatches I want to display here. So what I can do is I can click in the field here and continue adding them like so. Or if I don't like that, I can go and click to accept. I can go in and click into one of these. It's really kind of tricky, honestly, and it, it, they don't really tell you. So you can click replace or edit. So edit would open up a new uh, pop-up. And we are just gonna name this, we're just gonna keep this black. We can have it be this uh, hex color black. And 
Um, <clears throat> now we can choose to have images or not images. And if we don't choose to have variant images, uh, it's going to fall back on whatever hex color I choose. So right now we do want to set variant images. So that's what I have done here. Uh, I just did, I just selected an image here. Everything else should be fine. So I'm going to click out of this and, um, I'm going to click blue and I'm going to set blue as, uh, an image. So I'm going to uh, replace this. Oops. I'm going to replace this. So edit, and I'm going to select an image. So right now, this is what it looks like when there's no image set. Um, so I'm going to go in and set an image and I'm just going to do it blue. Again, this is for dummy uh, data content. And I'm going to click save. What I've uh, also come to realize is if it doesn't save immediately and you get a weird message that says meta object or uh, meta field count save, you have to go back and check your check your colors. Just can just refresh it a couple of times because I've done that. It made me go crazy and I refreshed it and then I was able to save doing the exact same thing. So now I have this and don't forget to click the accept button that is super small and it is and it can be missed. <laughs> So now I'm going to click the save up at the very top here. And then uh, once I have that uh, elite, I'm going to click a uh, preview and see if it works. So it doesn't work immediately right now. And I'm going to keep this as a window. Now you think that's all you have to do. Technically, that should be. But what other thing you're going to have to do is go into your variants here and you're going to click add another option. When you add another op option, it's going to recommend you uh, a color. So you want that to be color. And unfortunately, Shopify still hasn't released different, like more than just three tier uh, variant options, variants. So I'm going to go and I'm going to click on the three. Um, the six dots here and I'm going to just drag it over because usually I would like color to be the first um, the first option for customers to choose and then going down further to check uh, to check what variant it is. Um, but you can drag you can drag it and it does matter it um, in the order of how you place them here uh, <clears throat> on the online store. So I'm going to I'm going to click save. And this should eventually show up after Shopify has a bit to update. So this was the Elite Trio package. I'm going to refresh this and look at that. So I have swatches now and this looks amazing. And if you um, <clears throat> and if you like this, then you can keep it. But this is what the uh, color swatches uh, look like. Now let's go into Horizon theme. We're going to go and click Customize. And scrolling down here, you'll see that they're on the elite trio package on the on the product list grid that there are no swatches. But on the demo, there was all you're going to have to do is go down to the product list grid, go down be beyond the header and go to the block here and add. You can hover over a little bit where it does add block and you're going to scroll all the way down to where you see swatches when you click on that. It's going to display the swatches just like so. Now, the reason why it hasn't displayed the other swatches is because I had not set uh, the products to to have swatches just like I did with the Elite and the Elevated Steel, for example. So I'm going to click Save. Now, <clears throat> Elite. I'm going to go back to the Elite Trio because that's my uh, product uh, that I'm working on right here. And <clears throat> going down here. Uh, to the product information, to the product information tab and going to variant picker. If I go to variant picker um, and I click on drop down, it's going to uh, do the rest of them as drop down, but keep the swatches. Now, if I select buttons and I toggle off swatches, all of them are going to stay as buttons, uh, as buttons. Now, if I toggle off swatches, and select the style drop downs, all of them are going to be drop downs. So there's a lot of toggling off and on, and this becomes this result or that becomes that result. But I like the visuals of the swatches, if not the buttons itself. Um, now I am going to show you this. Don't worry if you're in the product information. I've tested this too, um, where you can go and add a block. And I'm going to be able to see again um, if I type in swatches. I'm going to be able to add swatches as a block. 
You don't want to do this because in the variant picker, um, it already uh, populates that. Uh, so you don't need to add another block that is swatches, okay? So, <clears throat> so that looks fine there. Now, in the theme settings, so this is the uh, sections. In the theme settings, when you click on theme uh, settings, you'll look at the swatches down here. It's the fourth one from the bottom. Variant images. So right now, it's uh, toggled off uh, as variant images or it's toggled on as variant images. I do think that uh, Horizon is just coming out and that there, it is glitchy and that there are some bugs still with it. Because you'll notice that I toggled, I had variant images toggled off and it was still displaying it. So, <clears throat> which is really strange. However, if I toggle variant images off and I don't want, and I don't want uh, to show variant images, but I actually want to show solid colors, I'm going to show you just that right now. So let's keep it variant images off and let's go back to the Elite Trio package product uh, right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the colors of each one of these. It can get a, uh, a lot if there's going to be a lot of swatches. Um, and that's the only downside, I feel like, is the learning curve of this. Um, plus, then, if you um, have a lot of products, like 27 sometimes, uh, that have different, you know, option and color swatch options, it can get a lot, uh, a lot of homework. So I'm going to go into uh, red and I'm going to edit this and I'm not going to want to choose uh, the variant image of it. So I'm going to clear this and right now it's going to fall back on this actual red swatch that I want. So I'm going to click save and then I'm going to do that same thing for black and just remove, oops, and just remove this. So I'm going to clear this. And so we should have these solid colors actually uh, because they're not the variant. So this is what it's called when it's a variant is choosing an image. <clears throat> so I'm going to continue clicking out of these and look how like just annoying it can be actually. So I'm going to click done and then I feel like entry saved. So it's interesting how before it said asset saved, now it's entry saved. Okay, so I have this color. I should be able to go into here and uh, because in the theme editor it was toggled off not showing variant images, it should show the solid colors that I have just set. Now I'm going to just refresh this and it does now. So that's how that's how you can uh, create the solid colors and, and set them. Now if I go back into here, let's just refresh this in the theme editor uh, right here and I'm going to go into this into the theme settings and I'm going to toggle variant images. Now the reason, now it's very interesting, you'll see that the first one was changed to a variant image um, but I'm not so sure why. So this is red. So let's refresh this. So red was changed to a variant image. Let's go back to elite. Um, ah, maybe it had to do with something along the lines of this, where red down here in the variants are set as images here. So that, that is an indicator and that should, um, be changed. Um, so if I have, that's where it's uh, getting all these images from, because notice when, um, this one is, uh, this red is this image, but the uh, black and the blue and the brown are still solid. It's because uh, not only um, are these correct, though, scrolling all the way down, you'll notice that uh, the rest of them, the brown, the blue, uh, and the brown, blue, and black don't have anything uh, in them except for the, the red. So what we would do is we would just go into each one of these uh, variants and then delete that uh, delete that right here. So we can go in and delete. Now, where is the delete for this? Uh, this is red change. It's looking like I can't really change or delete that image. So I wonder if, if you have to create, if you have to go in and recreate, um, recreate the color storage because red, black, let's see. Black, blue, red. Oops. Yeah, um, because this isn't attached. That's very strange. Yeah, so unfortunately, it seems like uh, if it's already set like this, you just have to be very careful into and, and uh, know what 
connected to color and know what uh, products you want and know what products you don't want to have color swatches on because um, I'm not seeing the option where I can delete these uh, delete these uh, without starting all over again. So if I go into here, um, let's just go and delete this. Delete variants. I'm going to click save, save product. Uh, refresh this. After some time, the red should uh, go away. There we go. The red has gone away. And now let's go uh, refresh this as well. Let's go in and mm -hmm. let's see. Okay, so we have black, blue, brown, black, red, black, blue, brown, seat color. We could add um, another one if we wanted. Um, right here. Let's just wait and refresh. So now we have red. Let's see if we can add a red color option. So I'm going to go into colors and I'm going to do red. There we go. So that red should be that solid red now. And I'm going to click save. So here it's blank, just like what we kind of wanted with no image set. Uh, and we'll give this a little bit to update. So red should be populated right there. And that's how you do it. So that's how you uh, set solid colors. That's how you uh, <clears throat> fix if one is a variant and one's a solid. And that's how you change to all variant images if you uh, need as well. So again, the biggest thing um, now, <clears throat> again, like I said, the biggest thing is you kind of have to choose a category and it doesn't really tell you any of that. Um, <clears throat> before creating the color uh, meta, meta field and then assigning it here. Um, but I hope this helps. Let me know if it is confusing. Um, <clears throat> I, I think it's really confusing. It's been like 45 minutes to an hour for me to have just figured out the color swatches itself. I've yet to design the rest of the store but notice how they kind of look okay. Now you want to make sure that if you're going to have color swatches, you're going to have color swatches in all your products. The reason being is because look how, uh, look how much taller the product cards become when there are swatches. So you want to keep them all uniformed. And yes, it does. You can see it does take some manual uh, work, but as long as you got the momentum and you understand how it works, I think that uh, you'll be able to get this uh, rather quickly. Uh, now, that is just tackling the color swatches in itself. I'm not so sure about any other uh, <clears throat> section yet, and but I will let you know. Thank you so much.